Hello, today we are talking about exponents. First, we want to say what an exponent is, and we're going to give the definition of an exponent. The definition of an exponent is the number of times the base is used as a factor. Make sure you get that in your notes. Now, we need to know what is a base, what does that mean? Here we are. This is n to the x power, or n to the power of x. In this case, the n is the base, and the x is the power, or the exponent. <clears throat> so what this means is n multiplied times itself x number of times. A lot of times if you're typing, it's hard to get the x as an exponent, and then we're going to use the caret symbol. It would look something like this. n, excuse me about that n to the power of x, n caret x, where the x symbol, uh, sorry, with the caret symbol, you'll find right above the 6 on your keyboard. So here we have 5 to the power of 2, or 5 to the second power. If you're using the second power, we'll often just say squared, so this is 5 squared. And what that means is 5 times itself 2 times, or 5 times 5. 5 squared is just 25. Here we have 4 to the third power, or 4 cubed. If we're us using the third power, we'll often just say cubed. So we have 4 to the third power, which we know means 4 times itself 3 times. So 4 times 4 times 4. We're going to go ahead and simplify this now using our order of operations that say to multiply and divide left to right. So 4 times 4 is 16 times 4, and 16 times 4 is 64. 4 cubed, or 4 to the third power, is 64. Here's your U tries. This says 3 to the fourth power, 3 carat 4. You could also write that as 3 to the fourth power, 2 carat 5 says 2 to the 5th power, oops, that is a 2, and then 8 caret 2, or 8 to the 2nd power, or 8 squared, 8 to the 2nd power. I'm going to go ahead and get you started on this first problem. 3 to the 4th power is going to be 3 times itself, 4 times, 3 times 3 times 3 times 3. Go ahead and finish the rest. If you have any questions, we'll see you in class tomorrow. Thank you.